Hi, everyone. Three offshore wind projects in New York are dead in the water, and that is good news for the North Atlantic right whale. Uh, you may have seen this news, but last Friday, the state of New York announced it was canceling negotiations on three different wind projects with a total capacity of about 4,000 megawatts or four gigawatts. Um, what's the holdup or what's the sticking point? It's all about the money. Uh, apparently, the, the project developers are talking with the state. They're asking for more and more money because their costs are going higher and higher. And why is that? Well, commodity prices are going up. Labor prices are, are, are going up. Uh, they have to pay for these uh, specialized ships to, to build these projects. All of the costs all across the board are going up. And then there's the integrity or the problems with the machines themselves. Remember, Siemens, uh, the German manufacturer, has ha has faced massive uh, charges because of failures of their onshore wind turbines, which are far smaller than these offshore wind turbines. Um, and so now G GE Vernova is building a 15 megawatt wind turbine. The diameter of the swept area is 250 meters. That's two football fits uh, wider than two football fields stacked back to back. These are just enormous machines. And then you put them offshore in salt water. Well, the breakdowns are obvious and the, and the viability of the projects are going to uh, decline over time because the machines are going to degrade. Um, so uh, the fact that these projects are being canceled, delayed, I think is really good news. It's good news for ratepayers because of course poop flows downhill. All of these costs are going to uh, hit ratepayers, um, and offshore wind is simply a bad idea. I've said it before. I'll say it again. The only thing dumber than onshore wind energy is offshore wind energy, and the the the, the cancellation of these negotiations, the delays, these are good news. This is good news. Good news for ratepayers, and very good news for whales. I'll stop there. Follow me on Substack. Would you, Robert Thanks a lot. See you.